everyone, New Line 2019. I am here with Edge. Hello. Hello. You are a musician from France. Yes. And uh, the reason we like having you on our events a lot is because you make music only using two Game Boys. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, I'm using my Game Boys to do music uh, with it for like a decade. And um, basically you you only use the, the sound generated by the Game Boy to do all the, the music. So can you maybe like give us uh, an idea of, of what the uh, music is you make? Okay. So, uh, for example, this is a song I'm actually working on. So in song like this, kind of like the 8-bit, uh, uh, like uh, old 8-bit games you used to play. And uh, as you see... Wait, so the music we're hearing now is composed by you? Yeah. On this Game Boy? Yeah, it's fully live generated and uh, by a little bit of programming with a, a software called Little Sound DJ. So basically, it lets you compose your own music within a Game Boy. So you can uh, like have just the drums. You can have the kick and the bass. And uh, you, you are doing this by a little bit of programming and the Game Boy uh, will act like a little synthesizer. So are you the only person doing this? Is this a thing? Is this a, a scene? Uh, yeah, it's uh, called Chiptune and there's a lot of people in the world doing it. It's not, uh, it's very underground but massive. You have event each week about uh, this style of music. Uh, that happens everywhere in the world. So, if I understand co correctly, it's an instrument that definitely has limitations, and the challenge is to, like, with those limitations, make as good a song as you can possibly. Yeah, can. you you have to to rock with uh, with those constraint to do your music, and you can challenge yourself into making the best music you can out of this. Like uh, if you do traditional uh, dance music, you know you have to include uh, a kick, a snare, a bass, a melody, sometimes other things, and you have to do all of this in four type of sound with their own limitation. And uh, you can even change yourself like uh, this one song I'm working on at the time, but it's only using one sound um, what you will you you are hearing here? It's only one sound played uh, at the same time. So imagine uh, this is only uh, on one of the four channel. So each channel represents one song played. It's only a quarter of the possibilities of the Game Boy. And if I put all the other sounds, you see, you have more, more things in it. Yeah. So you you have four layers. Yeah. And that's it. For that's you it. With. You can't like use twenty layers or twenty four layers like they would use today when you yeah you, you are studio. Yeah, you you yeah. are limited to four layers of sound, and you can you cannot go over it, but you can optimize things and trick a bit to. But then, Edge, what, when I hear all this, why? <laughs> because it's fun. <laughs> like, we have computers that can just do 30, 35 layers just fine. Yeah, but you I, choose to use an old Game Boy. I also use computer from time to time, but it's so much fun to, to go outside. Like, I want to make music and uh, I don't want to bring my computer over. Uh, or I'm at this place and uh, suddenly I'm feeling the urge of playing something and I haven't my deck or my uh, computer with me. I just pull out my Game Boy and compose or play uh, my music and it's fun and people enjoying uh, this kind of, thing, of uh, way of doing music and the people are doing it for you and 
travel. You 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 can yeah. travel and make people travel with with this. Like uh, we used to use Game Boy to to travel in uh, or, uh, childhood to place like uh, the world of Hyrule in Zelda or the the world of Pokemon and now you can travel with music you are making with it and it's another kind of escape but it's it's uh, it's a more adult one <laughs> when you describe this you give me like this vision of like you sitting at a bus stop with a million other people and the other people are like all on their smartphones you know, playing Candy Crush or whatever, and you, it looks like you're also playing a game, but you're like making art, you're making music. Yeah, it's another kind of game. You you used to use this to to play game in your childhood, and now you're making music nearly everywhere you can go with your feet. And uh, yeah, it's a fun way to do to do music because uh, wherever you are on the fly you you can do it even just before going on stage you can pull out the the latest bit on your music and then throw uh, it uh, on uh, in front of the people and uh, you can even share your music with the random you might encounter at the bus stop or at the train station or in the street and share with them the the sound you you're producing with it it's kind of like uh, um, you sharing uh, you you your dream uh, making people dream uh, with uh, with a game boy like we used to do in a childhood with uh, with the game we used to play on it so maybe really short without getting too technical in it if people want to start doing this, where do they go? How do they like get going? Should they start with the consoles they have? Should they start with one specific type of console? What, what do you suggest? Just use what you have uh, at your home or just use the computer to to get uh, to get the musical software because Hardware, if you have not it, that would be under understandable since it's 30 years old, it kind of get tricky to have mm. one spare at home. So you can use your computer uh, and uh, download the little sound DJ ROM and uh, with an emulator, just do it and uh, learn by yourself or you have a lot of tutorials online on YouTube, on website, on how to use it. Uh, or you can buy the a special a special cartridge that lets you put um, uh, the, the that uh, software on it and just use your spare Game Boy and do it. It's the the hardware way, but uh, ever are uh, are fine because just enjoy making music and uh, it will go uh, smooth. Because this like the the cool takeaway is whatever type of console or Game Boy or whatever you have laying at home, you can use it to make it. It's more, um, whatever Game Boy you are, you, you can. Uh, if you want to use NES or Mega Drive, it's kind of more tricky because uh, the tools that have been developed to do music on it are not quite accessible. So, this is why the Game Boy scene is the most important one. It's because uh, it's the the easier way to get involved into chiptune. Okay, so definitely start with the Game Boy. Yeah. This has been eye opening. This was a lot of fun. Like yeah. I've seen you playing your sets, but I never like I I don't understand what you're doing. And it's it just looks really cool. No, I'm really happy that you gave a, a short. Um, session on on how it works, and so I can maybe check. I'm out. happy you you enjoy uh, the stuff I, I made with it. It's more important is getting people uh, people uh, enjoy by by his hearing music that could only fit on old video video game and maybe uh, look a little bit old fashioned, but people uh, nowadays yeah. are, are still enjoying it. At, it's awesome. Thanks cool. to you. All right, cool. Can you, you get another one for the outro? Another song? 
another bit of sound. Okay. Um, which one I? Maybe a new, a new things like this one maybe. <laughs> 